All right, I wanted to just go over the concept of microdosing. I feel like uh, a lot of people maybe sometimes get a little bit confused as to what, uh, what and why um, microdosing is and why would you want to do it, okay? Most of the herbs out there, when you buy them, they're going to give you a suggested dose that is really large, like two dropperfuls, one to two dropperfuls, okay? I consider that a very large dose. I personally don't take tinctures that way, okay? So when I do take herbs, I am more inclined to take very, very small doses, one to two drops under the tongue, and then I am inclined to take them more frequently if needed. I see it as more of a reminder, almost more like homeopathy, where in homeopathy, the idea is to kind of remind your body, right? Bring it, stimulate it, bring it back so that it can follow its original instructions. So it's a little bit different than using large doses of herbs to get a real chemical effect, okay? It's just a little bit different in, in the way that you utilize it and how you go about doing it. So it's not that, I don't want to say one is better than the other. All I can say is that in my experience, I do find that microdosing tends to work better. And if not better, just as well as larger doses. And there's many, many reasons to consider not using those large doses, okay? When it comes to my lungs, I have had years of experimenting and I worked with my dad for over 15 years with his lungs as well. And I've helped other people that have had respiratory conditions. The reason I'm using the respiratory system as an example is because it's a really serious one, right? If you can't breathe, you die. So it really lets you know if the remedies that you've chosen are working. Okay, unlike something for like a long chronic thing where you may not really know it's working for a while. But when it comes to the respiratory system, the more powerful herbs that work quickly, you can, you can test this theory really well. So I've done that. And I've also done it with homeopathy as well, okay? I've experimented <clears throat> with homeopathy using the standard suggested dose which is like five to six pellets under your tongue and I've done one pellet and I have found that one pellet has always worked just as well so taking more did not give me more benefit I have found the same to be true with the herbs, okay, that I take for my lungs, my respiratory system. I've taken large doses before and I've challenged it with microdosing. And I find that the microdosing gets me out of a crisis just as well as the larger doses. So again, you know, you have to ask yourself, why would I wanna waste all those herbs if they are not contributing to any greater benefit. The other thing that I love about microdosing is when you take a large dose of herbs, I find it doesn't necessarily, the benefits don't necessarily last any longer. And I love microdosing because you can dose really frequently without worrying that you're taking too much. Okay, when, when, when I'm going through a little bit of a rough spell, I love that I can microdose every three to five minutes if I need to. And again, I really think this is why a lot of people will say, oh, I tried something and it didn't work because they're taking one really large dose. And what they really need is, you know, multiple doses in a short period of time in order to really engage the body, to really kickstart that body. 
And it's really not something that you're going to do when you're taking two dropper fulls, right? Because if you were going to need, let's say you're going to need 10 doses in an hour to, to really get your body where it needs to be, okay? That first dose gives you like a little bit of a little bit, okay, second dose, a little bit more, third dose, a little bit more. You can see where people would get disillusioned if they're taking a large dose and they're like, I can't take it again for a couple of hours, okay? So again, there is no right or wrong. It's just, this is what I do. This is what I do. And I've said that when you drink a tea, and you know, there's some people like my husband that literally, blunk, I go in and it's gone. And I'll be like, you should be sipping it, dude. Is when you sip, you're microdosing. Okay? So basically it's like, remember, remember, <laughs> remember. Uh, I was at my girlfriend's one night and uh, my breathing was a little, little funky and I made myself a cup of hot thyme tea. And I sat at the table and I took one sip. And after that one sip, I could start to feel the mucus kind of coming up in my lungs, relaxing. Probably after the third or fourth sip, I noticed improvement already. Okay, now had I just glug, 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 glugged it down, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that it wouldn't have worked, but the microdosing gives me, you know, and it, it gives me real feedback. Like, oh, one sip was okay, two sips even better, three sips, I'm really starting to feel it. Four, five sips, wow, like what a difference. And so maybe I don't want to continue drinking the tea. Maybe I don't want to drink the whole cup if I don't need to. Maybe I do. Okay. I don't like to drink a whole cup of tea. I have, I have weird reactions to things sometimes, and I prefer to stay in the, the lower dosing whether it be tinctures or tea. So I want to see what the lowest possible dose is, okay? It's just the sensible thing to do. And I understand that herbal companies need to make money. I understand that. And if everybody microdosed, a lot of them would probably go out of business. And that's not something that I want to happen. But what I am saying is that when the shoe drops and we will be finding ourselves having to harvest our own medicine, make our own medicine and use our own medicine it would you know it would probably be of great benefit to microdose if it works and the beauty is with microdosing you just build up to the dose that you know works and it's the one thing that you know anybody who works with lobelia especially because if you take too much lobelia it can you know make you vomit so the recommendation with lobelia from people that work with it is usually, not always, but usually, to just take one drop at a time. One drop at a time and see how your body responds. If you respond really well at one drop, stop. If it takes two drops to give you what you're looking for, great. Three drops, okay. And the truth is, each time is gonna be different. So for me, I don't want to get in the habit of taking even six drops under my tongue when maybe, maybe there's times when I do need to take six drops over the course of maybe 10 minutes to get benefit. But other times, one drop, boom. I'm breathing perfect. So again, you know, just throwing it out there, okay, because there's a lot of different ways to do things and, um, you know, Microdosing is worth trying, okay? Signing out.